Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and let's get straight into the charts. This one here is the 12 hour Ethereum chart, and all three of these indicators are still pointing in the bullish direction. But as I mentioned yesterday, the 12 hour Ethereum RSI is still sitting in overbought territories, which is technically a signal to us that Ethereum is due for some sort of short term cool off, which could either be a sideways consolidation or a slight pullback. And if we do end up seeing a bit of a pullback, then some important levels of support to pay attention to would be coming in at around 3.2 k to 3.3k but while we're here on the 12 hour ethereum chart technically speaking this breakout out of this symmetrical triangle pattern is still active and the technical price target is coming in at around four thousand us dollars per ethereum but as i've said in previous videos just because that is the technical price target that does not mean ethereum is going to go straight to that price without seeing any sort of call-offs or pullbacks along the way and also even though four thousand us dollars is a technical price target due to this pattern we have some other levels of resistance between the current price and that price target. For example, if you zoom out on the daily Ethereum chart, we have the golden pockets coming into play at around three and a half thousand, going up towards around 3.6k. And so far at the time of recording this video, the price of Ethereum has gotten very close to that golden pocket and seen a small rejection from that level of resistance. And what we can also see right now on the daily Ethereum chart is the RSI enter into overbought territories on this time frame as well. So most likely within the next one week, but potentially within the next few days, this uptrend in the price of Ethereum could start cooling off, which like I said earlier, could be either a sideways consolidation or a slight pullback. And having this almost nonstop bullish trend for the past two weeks, honestly reminds me of what we saw in late July and early August last year, because leading into that time period, we saw a lot of bearish price action in the price of Ethereum for a few months. And then as the price was bottoming out, we entered a bit more of a sideways consolidation, similar to what we saw over the past two months or so. And then if you're looking back at the price action that we saw last year, I remember there was a lot of people in the market that were very surprised that Ethereum was playing out all of that bullish price action all in one go without pretty much any pullback along the way. And if you're looking at what happened in the daily Ethereum RSI, we actually started entering into overbought territories on the 1st and 2nd of August. And if you're looking at the Ethereum price during that same time period, we saw a very, very small short-term call off, basically one red day before the price of Ethereum continued on with this uptrend over the next four days or so. And then that brought the daily Ethereum RSI well into overbought territories. And then we saw a proper cool off in the price and the RSI, which was basically around three weeks worth of sideways price action while the Ethereum RSI on the daily timeframe was resetting back down towards neutral values, giving us more room to the upside for one last bullish push. And then we finally entered into that September correction. And it is important to mention that it's extremely unlikely the price of Ethereum will play out the exact same thing as what we saw back here, but we could end up seeing something similar considering how how similar the price is compared to what we saw back there. So essentially to summarize this part of the video, yes, we are due for some sort of short-term cool-off probably within the next week. And what I mean by a short-term cool-off is essentially a pause in this uptrend with either a slight pullback or a sideways consolidation of some sort. But if you're zooming out to the larger timeframes, of course, the three-day Ethereum chart is still looking more bullish than bearish. The RSI, for example, is in a strong uptrend and we still have more room to the upside until we start getting overbought on the larger timeframes. And the three-day Ethereum MACD is picking up more bullish momentum. And if you're zooming even further out on the Ethereum charts over to the weekly timeframe, of course, the parabolic stop and reverse indicator is still sitting in the green for another week. And typically, when we see this signal on the weekly Ethereum charts, this usually results in a lot of bullish price action on the larger timeframes that normally lasts for at least a month, but most of the time, a few months before we see another significant correction in the price of Ethereum on the larger timeframes. And just giving you a quick update, Update on the Bitcoin dominance. This is the daily time frame, and you can see that nothing much has happened since yesterday. In fact, over the past one week, just about nothing has happened in the Bitcoin dominance. So essentially, over the past one week, the altcoins have done almost the exact same as Bitcoin on average. Obviously, there's going to be some outliers, but specifically, the last one week hasn't really been an altcoin season because an altcoin season is when we see much more of a downtrend in the Bitcoin dominance, which, as I mentioned yesterday on the channel, that could still happen if we break below this low right here sitting at around 42.4% Bitcoin dominance because in that scenario the Bitcoin dominance could potentially play out a small bear flag here but for now it essentially remains somewhat neutral and I'll be sure to keep you updated on this channel if anything changes and if you want to get extra updates on the crypto market just like this and other information that I sometimes don't include in these videos then definitely make sure to follow me over on my Twitter and the link to my Twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment but anyway if you found this video 
something useful or simply enjoyed us, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And before we click off, if you are new to this channel and you want to know how to make more money in crypto, whether or not prices are going up or down, then these two videos popping up right here on your screen are definitely for you to watch. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.